What's up everybody? This is Kev from Geeking is Fun. So uh, this is part two of the video series of uh, basic networking uh, using routers. Okay. So uh, if you see, if you have a look at this diagram, all right, the difference between this diagram and the diagram in the previous video is that uh, there's only one small difference, which is the addition of the new router. All right. We have another router here, uh, and all the others remain the same. There are four PCs and two switch. All right. Okay. The moment you add another router, what happens is that you're actually adding another network, all right? So again, this will be net, this side will be network one, this whole side will be network, uh, sorry, this, uh, yeah, this whole side will be network one, this whole side will be network two, and between routers will be network three, all right? So here I've already labeled, all right? I've used, I've just labeled with IP addresses, all right? So uh, by looking at IP addresses, you can actually see that uh, we have three different networks, all right? So let's see, these between the routers we have uh, one network, so I use the third number as uh, one. It can be anything, but uh, just saying that we, by looking at these two addresses, you can see that they are both belong to the same network, all right? And this is another network, and this is another network, all right? So um, the moment you have two routers, you need, to, you need to do some form of routing, all right? So when you talk about routing, there are basically, um, all right, three types of routing that can be done. Uh, the first one is, uh, is default, and you have uh, static, and uh, another one is called dynamic, all right? So in this video, I'll be doing the static routing, all right? So um, it doesn't matter which type of routing you choose, all right? Our goal is to make sure that all the devices are uh, able to communicate with each other, all right? So it doesn't matter if you choose default, static, or dynamic, whichever, you, whichever way you configure, all the devices must be able to uh, communicate with each other, all right? So again, I'll be doing static uh, routing, so I'll be showing you how how to accomplish that, okay? So the first thing, of course, we configure the router with these given addresses, all right? So double click on the router as usual, and um, uh, right, so this this should be zero, and sorry, this should be one, and this is zero, okay? So go here and go to config, um, all right? So port zero, port zero is, uh, we turn it on, and put the address 192.168.1.2, all right? And then the separate mask is given. And for port 1 is uh, 192.168.2.3. Okay. So uh, these two ports have been configured. All right. Sorry, I forgot to switch it on. Okay. So uh, do the same thing for the other router. All right. Just to check, it should be port 0. Okay. So go to config 0. Turn it on. So 192. 2.168.1.4 the subnet mask and the other one 192.168.3.3.3 okay so switch it on all right so the routers have been configured with their respective uh, addresses right now let's configure the pcs okay so um, as usual you just go to ip configuration and put up the ip address 168.2.7 uh, sorry, okay. Uh, yeah, we have already given as 7, just, just use 7. Okay, the default gateway is the router's IP address, 192.168.2.3. Uh, okay, so... Alright, and then uh, 192.168.2.3. Three, right for gateway all right so at this point again we, we will be able to communicate we, we will be able to communicate locally that means if you try to send a message from this PC, this PC is successful again uh, the other way around is also possible again you can also try to communicate from this PC to this router is successful because um, we have set the gateway correctly all right but what happens if you try to con uh, communicate from uh, this PC across all right of course, it will not work, all right? Uh, and that's why we have to do routing, all right? So um, let's configure 192.168.3.5, okay. Dot three dot seven. Okay, all right. Okay, again, you'll be able to communicate locally, no problem. But what if you try to um, the router? No problem. All right. So, um, all right. But what if you try to ping across? Let's say from this PC to this PC. Obviously, it'll fail. All right. It'll fail. All right. 
so our goal is to make sure that all PCs are able to communicate with each other in fact you can't even do this all right you can't even still again it will fail all right so that is the goal of our uh, of uh, that's the goal all right we want to do routing all right so how to do static routing in packet tracer it's very easy all right so uh, as of as for your info, for your information all right every routers have routing table all right so uh, what is the function of routing table? Basically, routing table holds some information, all right? Each router needs to have a, a complete set of information about uh, the activities, in the net, uh, not activities, I mean the addresses of the other uh, devices as well. So, for example, in this scenario or in this uh, diagram, all right, I will try, I will show you how to access the routing table. So, you just click on the magnifying glass over here. Let's say this router, you press on this and click routing table. You'll be able to see the routing table, all right? So, if you look at the, at the moment, the routing table for this router only holds two addresses, which are which is this address and this ad this address and this address, right? Okay. It doesn't have the address of the other router, the neighbor router. So we need to put that, right? So that so that um, this router can contact the other router, right? So how do we do that, right? So it's very easy. Again, just double click on the router. Okay. On the left side, uh, you can see the routing. You can see static and RIP. So let's choose static. Okay. So um, put in the other network uh, address. So 192.168.3. All right. This uh, we want to put this um, this address right. A 3.0. Okay. And then uh, for the mask, of course, 255.255.255.0. This is this is class C. And the next next hop. What does it mean by next hop? All right. Next hop basically means your neighbor address, your neighbor uh, your neighbor router. That means uh, since you're configuring this router, so the name the the neighbor for this router is this router. So you need to put this address. Okay. So let's put that 192.168.1.4, and you click add. All right. So you can see here the the path. All right. Again, you do the same thing. Now, if you try to just check the routing table, all right, you can see another uh, information, another piece of information is added, all right. You have added the other uh, uh, network's address, and this is actually a static, um, a static uh, route, route, okay. So let's do the same for the other router, okay. So we double click, go to static, and put the address of the other network, 2.168.2.0, okay. And the mask is again 255.255.255.0. And the next hop is, of course, the address of this uh, this router, all right. 192.168.1.2. Click add, all right. So at this point, all the uh, devices have been configured. And most important, uh, importantly, you have filled up the routing table with the relevant information, all right, complete information, so that you have maximum reachability. Again, we are doing static, all right static uh, routing all right we're doing static routing okay so static routing now if you try to ping across you may, okay initially it may fail you just take a bit of time okay successful all right the moment you can ping across that means uh, it's been configured correctly okay you can come in fact you can even um, try to send a message across to this router it is successful so you have maximum reachability okay so um, Again, this was uh, static routing, right? What we have done is that um, uh, we have uh, actually um, configured the routers, all right? We have added, added, for example, from this router, we need to add the address of uh, the next, um, the next network, all right, into the routing table, and do the same for the neighbor, uh, neighbor router, all right? From from this router, you need to add the address of the other network and also the uh, neighbor router's uh, address as the next hop, all right? So I hope. Um, you got to learn something new and if there's enough time i'll be doing a dynamic routing using a packet tracer or also known as rip so thank you very much signing off kev from geeking is fun